how could they do that? But at least I got the Arnold. Oh. Arnold. Is this yours? It is. Oh, this is amazing. You freaked me out when you drove in. That is so cool. Mm. Now, notice the overhead cams. And notice the tubes between. Those are push rods to run it. Arnold out of Chicago. Made this blend. How many were made? Uh, about 120. Uh, 12 were destroyed in a fire, and um, uh, about 80 worldwide, they think, mm -hmm. uh, currently in all conditions. That, that is amazing. And they were made for what, one or two years? Well, they were made for, they probably finished production by 55. Mm -hmm. 54 was the first year, but they, some of them are titled as late as 59. He didn't sell, it was several years getting them all sold. Mm. Um, they were expensive. They were about between five and six thousand dollars. Yeah. And in 54, that was a lot of cake. That's for sure. So, and they, but they successfully raced uh, uh, on the SCCA circuit in the 50s and are today very competitive in vintage racing uh, with original two liter engines. Cool. Now that's a BMW engine, correct? BMW design, pre war, 326, uh, uh, 328 BMW, mm -hmm. um, six owners. Some people say they, Bristol got the rights through war reparations. Uh, other tell me that Bristol had a relationship before the war with BMW mm. but in any case by the time Bristol started using it BMW had moved on from that engine right so uh, it's likely it was just a, a deal I don't know yeah uh, well look at Daimler yeah so yeah yeah things were happening and, uh, anyway it's a great engine Oliver Nuthill is still building race engines uh, you can still get the blocks and heads wow for, and they Highly successful race in the two-liter class. Jeez, that, that, that's amazing. And the car is aluminum, tube the frame? The body is steel, the boot and bonnet are aluminum. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you got solid rear? Uh, solid rear axle with torsion bar suspension for the ah. rear. Uh, through a rather elaborate uh, mechanism that is a shock absorber and the torsion bar, and you can adjust it, tune it. Uh, each side Neat. and a transverse leaf in the front with rack and pinion steering, which is very early. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Jaguar and didn't have a central lubrication then. system uh -huh. on it, so that's kind of uh, unique. Uh, it, they were pretty interesting cars. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I've seen one live. Now, how do you pronounce the Arno model? Arnaud Bristol. Arno. No, I know. I, it's the Arno, but, but what is the model? The bl Bolide. Uh, that's how I pronounce it. Okay. Lord knows that uh, hillbilly like me is likely to have it wrong, but uh, yeah. But you own the car, so it's it, kosher. It uh, it's co means comet or uh, like a celestial body uh, uh -huh. is what. So I'm uh, Google tells me. Sounds good to me. Thank you. You're welcome. I think we might have Oh, do you? oh my gosh, there's another rare one. Um, no, I haven't been, it's been, Those are the shocks that you're seeing over there. And, um, all the Cunninghams are wow, that's really pretty cool. Uh, that's been maybe three, four, that is three, cool. I didn't show, I didn't own this then. Oh, good show, I'll be right there. This is Pam from Northeast Wheels Events.com at the 2023 AACA for me, commonly known as Hershey, for more cool events like this. Make sure you check your car show calendars, northeastwheelsevents.com, southeastwheelsevents.com, ukwheelsevents.com. And while you're there, post and promote your events. I'll see you at the shows.